In this video, I'm going to go over some of the most useful ways to increase your damage. What's good folks, it's Nightmare Frame here with a new Warframe video coming at you with a damage amplification guide. For those who don't know the basics of modding and ways to mod your weapons for even more damage, check out my damage guide. That video will go in depth about the mods and multipliers to help you understand what the mods actually do to your weapons. What I'll show you here today are things that you would never have thought of. So most players already know about Roar, Eclipse, and Zanta's Whisper. All of those three work differently and stack with each other. However, you can't have all of them on one Warframe. And if you want to know more about those three, check out my other videos that will be linked on the top right corner of the video or in the description. There are three ways to increase the damage you deal to enemies. 1. A Damage Multiplier Meaning a buff that affects the damage your weapon or abilities deal, whether through mods, arcanes, or an ability buff. 2. Damage Vulnerability This is basically applying a debuff on enemies, having them take more damage from all sources. Defense Shred This means taking away their defensive attributes like bonus armor and shields. The great thing is that all three stack with each other to further boost your damage. Example of some damage multipliers in form of mods are critical damage mods like Vital Sense and Organ Shatter. These multiply all your damage if you land a critical hit, and the more consistent your crits, the more you can invest in critical damage to boost the damage multiplier. And of course, faction damage mods like your Banes and Smites. Have you ever wondered why these were primed and Serration was a regular blue mod? Well, it's because they do different things. Faction mods allow you to multiply the damage your weapons deal towards the faction. As Serration multiplies your base damage, faction mods multiply the base damage you deal, and it will multiply any damage over time effects a second time, known as double dipping. You also have the base damage multiplier arcanes like primary and secondary deadhead that increase headshot damage that further increases your damage along with giving you base damage on the guns. Melee heavy attacks benefit from combo counter. You gain a final damage multiplier on your heavy attacks from just building up combo. Pretty much like snipers, they are the only guns in the game that have a combo system. Stealth Multiplier Bonuses For melee attacks that are from an undetectable melee strike on an enemy, which counts as a form of true damage. You can get this from Banshee Silence that stuns enemies, Excalibur's Radial Blind, Wisp's Breach Surge, and from just being invisible and undetectable as you melee attack. A great example of damage vulnerability that can be found in a simple elemental combination is Viral. It's basically a massive boon to damage done to enemy health and damage over time builds. For example, True Damage and Bleeds deal damage directly to the health and Viral allows it to multiply all the damage. And, and, and there is Magnetic. Yes, that exists. It does what Viral does, but for shields. Yeah. Another damage vulnerability can be found within Sentinel mods. Detect vulnerability on Helios. Not reliable, but it exists. It benefits flat damage builds and AoE damage over time builds like Gas and Electric. It multiplies all damage by 275% when enemies are shot at the weak spot, similar to Banshee's Sonar, which is one of the best damage vulnerability abilities out there. There are multiple Warframe damage vulnerability debuffs like Banshee's Sonar, Caliban's Sentient Wrath, Equinox Rage, Gaara's Mass Vitrify, Korra's Strangle Dome, Mag's Magnetize, Neja's Chakram, Nova's Molecular Prime, Sevagoth's Reap, Yorelli's Sea Sneers, and Zaku's Vast Untime. So, make use of them. Now, Defense Shred is a pretty straightforward thing, basically getting rid of armor and shields. As you know, there are several ways to armor and shield strip. For example, there are three full defense strips that come from Warframes. Nyx's Psychic Bolts, which requires the least amount of power strength, Steinix's Stero Strike, and Zaku's Gaze. Banshee has an armor strip that is quite busted and unique. It can permanently armor strip in a cone shape and can crowd control both Acolytes and Demolists. 
Aside from abilities, there are mods that can also armor strip. Corrosive Projection is an aura that stacks with armor strip abilities, but there are better auras to use, trust me. But in terms of mods, you have Shattering Impact and Amalgam Argonac Metal Augur. They both work the same, but slightly differently. Shattering Impact works on any melee that has impact damage, meaning you do not have to proc impact, just have the damage. It will go off of your total damage that includes impact within the calculation. This strips base armor by 6 with each hit. A gunblade like Vastlock is very good for this because it shoots out 9 pellets. So that's 54 points off of the base armor. This is also boosted by the stance as some stances have double hits in their combos. So this is why the high noon stance is preferred for this weapon if you're going to use it for armor stripping. If you do not have Vassalog, there is a great substitute, and it's the Aram Spinoza. However, you need to heavy attack for this. It shoots out 18 bolts on the initial heavy attack swing that deals IPS and force toxin damage, and the consecutive heavy attacks shoot out 9 bolts. They also have an innate punch through of 1.3 meters. And now for the Amalgam Argonac Metal Augur. I've shown how this scales to crazy levels, especially on my recent Saren video where I've gone up against level 9999. This mod allows each hit with the dagger to armor strip a target by 6 armor. You just need to have the Argonac equipped with the Amalgam mod. That's it, and you never use the weapon, and you can have a regular dagger build. However, there are more consistent ways to fully utilize this armor strip. Hits by daggers also take into account the damage over time that they deal. The armor strip that comes from hits by daggers also takes into account the damage over time that they deal. For example, using this loadout with a melee Zephyr build. Reminder, only daggers and not dual daggers. Reminder, this only works for daggers and not dual daggers. Taking a look at Corrosive, the damage type that allows you to deal 75% more damage to ferret, armor, and fossilized health. However, the stats effect, which is the byproduct of you applying a Corrosive proc on an enemy, will strip the armor up to 26% for 8 seconds, and applying additional procs will increase the percentage by 6%, which caps out at 8 percent armor strip at 10 stacks as each individual proc has its own duration applying more corrosive will upkeep the armor strip and when you lower the armor by 80 percent you're effectively allowing enemies to take more damage and you can have a utility weapon that is a primer which provides you with a damage vulnerability and defense shred at the same time in the form of viral and heat mostly used in an epitaph and kuva nucor and of course many many more unlike corrosive heat just needs to have one proc on an enemy to give you a full 50% armor strip. Alright folks, that has been it from this video. I hope you've learned something new and informative. And if I miss something that is way beyond powerful, please feel free to drop it down in the comment section. If you've enjoyed this video, feel free to leave a like, share, and subscribe for more Warframe content, streams, and so much more. Do refer to the description. Thanks for watching, and as always, peace.